Hey guys, Cody here, and in this video I'm going to show you kind of the effects of using cheaper paints versus better quality paints. Um, higher, more expensive paints are better quality to an extent, um, and I'm going to show you kind of the difference in, you know, using cheaper paints like Artist Loft or uh, Deco Art or something like that, because I see a lot of people on YouTube using them, but they don't talk about the effects of using uh, a cheaper type of paint. Now you can get away with it, but there are certain effects that happen um, when you use them. So let me show you. Now, something to note about cheaper paint is that um, it tends to be more watery um, and less pigmented. So because of that, when you try to water it down, it actually breaks apart because it's already got a bunch of water and, and less like binders and stuff and less pigment. Um, so this piece I did yesterday in a YouTube video, I actually, um, I'll post a link to the video to that video in here but the yesterday when it was drying it looked a lot better than it did after it was fully dry um <clears throat> so what i used for this one was gac 800 which is this right here uh golden and <clears throat> i watered it down and then used uh fluid acrylics now i used different brands i used golden for the uh, turquoise i used deco art for the gold and then artist law for black and white now I got the Artist Loft on sale, and there's probably a reason for it. So <clears throat> I used them all on here and used the same effect for all of them. But you'll notice that the turquoise is the only one that actually ran smooth and did not break apart, okay? The black, you can see all the black patches, you can see the white, uh, and you can see the gold, and all of those ones actually broke apart. Um, so there's a reason, I'm, I'm assuming, that um, the... Artist Loft ones were on sale and that the deco art is just cheaper in general. In this instance, you really get what you pay for. The Golden was like $10, $15 for just one bottle, I think. Um, but it produced an amazing result and held up to um, being sprayed and watered down even through the GAC. So something to consider. Um, if you want certain effects, actually, let me show you some. Take you over here, and I'm gonna grab this piece, and I, I'm running out of room, um, so I'll just lay it across here. Um, this piece right here, uh, this was with, um, let's see, Artist Loft. Yeah, okay. So this piece was all Artist Loft, I believe, um, paints, and it's the same thing. So you can see the specks of white, you can see the specks of black. The orange broke apart um, and then there's even this rust colored thing that I put in there that's all artist loft but it all all of the paint all of this artist loft fluid acrylic broke apart um, now this piece I really like the piece um, and it turned out really cool so I'm not disappointed with the piece but only it, it's only because the breaking apart of the colors adds to the piece in this one i would much rather have had this white and black at least um smoothly run down as opposed to break apart now the gold I, i'm okay with because the gold kind of has its own characteristic but if if the black and white had run smooth i would have been happier with that so i probably won't sell this piece but i will keep it in like in the house as a showpiece because the colors are good and the blending is good, but I don't like that the um, I don't like that the white broke apart and just kind of left these imprints. Sorry, there's a there's a dog. My neighbor's dog is just barking like crazy. Um, anyway, okay. So here is another uh, piece that I poured, and this piece you can see that there's blending and stuff like right here, um, but this was all. Artist Loft paint, okay? Um, it, like in these little tubes right here. And then it was just watered down and poured. Um, you can see that the, the pieces... Oh my gosh. Um, you can see that the paint left little bubbles um, when it was poured. And, you know, for some people that might be okay. And the piece... I don't know, I might be able to sell the piece, but I don't <clears throat> personally like that, that it did that. So, just again, another note. 
Um, now, this was the GAC 800 um, with only golden fluid acrylics. I think the other color was this one. It was uh, cadmium red. So, this one was only GAC and uh, golden fluid acrylics. And you'll notice that there's no specs at all. Okay? It's all smooth lines. Um, there's a nice marbling to it and a, a lot of people have seen this piece and this was just a practice piece that I was just practicing on because you can see that there's raw canvas uh, well not raw there's gesso on it but I didn't I didn't do like a base coat or a primer or anything which I recommend you do um, even if it's white but anyway uh, so I didn't do that but this piece still turned out really good so my point out of all that is that um, the type of paint that you use matters and the way that you use it matters. So if you use cheaper paint and water it down, it's going to, it's probably going to break apart easier. So it'll either leave little air bubbles or it, if you know, if it's like a fluid, it's going to, it's going to break up. Now that doesn't mean that you can't use these paints like Artist Loft or some of these other cheaper brands uh, like this one. This is a super, this is a really cheap one that I was, I was testing as a background and it was super sticky. Um, it eventually dried, but I don't like the texture of it. So again, you can use them, but just know the effects that they have because they will change your painting. Like the quality of the paint matters. Um, again, normally what I use is, is basics for normal acrylic paintings. Um, for fluid, I'm probably going to switch to using only golden. And, um, and then, uh, of course, I use gloss enamel um, for the top of the painting. Um, but that's pretty much it. I just want to post a, a video about like the effects of using cheaper paint versus higher quality paint and some of the effects that I've gotten. Again, just goes just depends on the effect you're going for. I'm going to shut this video off because these dogs will not stop going crazy. But I'll see you guys in another video. If you like it, please like, rate, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another one. See ya.